I'm gonna try to stealth camp tonight inside a resort. Um, on the street, maybe. Cabo San Lucas, baby. A town so near and dear to my heart. It's my ninth time here. Uh. Gracias. Uh, Camarón taco, pescado. What's your favorite taco? Smoked marlin. Smoked marlin? Is it this? Okay, I'll get one of those then too. Okay. So I was fortunate enough as a kid to be able to come to Cabo with my parents. And uh, it's what inspired most of this trip. All right, so Cabo San Lucas, if you're not familiar, is like the biggest city in Baja, California. Definitely the biggest city that I've been to. Three million people per year come here, besides me. Out of those three million people, um, seven out of 10 come back, and 90% say that they would come back or recommend it to a friend and family if they wanted to come visit. It's for a good reason though. There's great food, awesome beaches, Lots of gringos, it's Americanized, feels somewhat safe. Lots are, lots going on down here. Definitely the most busy town that I've been at yet here in Baja. One of my favorite things to do here in Cabo is to come down to the beach, but not only that, there's great boating, great fishing, great food, and great people. So while it's the most populated town in Baja, it's also one of the most expensive places in Baja. And hotel rooms can range anywhere from 250 to some some here are $1,000 a night. Uh, the average is about $250 a night, but uh, there's over 1,800 hotel rooms here because of all the tourism. All right, so I'm not really supposed to be here right now, so. Because there are so many resorts here and so many tourists, uh, there's not a whole lot of places to camp, like campsites or RV parks or really any of that stuff. Usually coming down Baja, I could spend like 15 bucks and be able to camp anywhere for the night, but those are taken over by resorts and even the public beach you can't camp out at overnight here. So I'm going to try to stealth camp tonight inside a resort um, on the street maybe. I don't know. We're going to figure it out together, but... This is going to be the first night that I'm kind of free soloing it in Mexico. So I think, I think I'm at peace with it. I think I'm ready. It's like a good place to try it, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, what a nap. I think I've about had my fun here. <sighs> Is this your guys' boat? Right. Is your boat? See? How much? To go there? Yeah. 15? Fifteen? That's what I paid last week, man. No, I've been look, here. I've been here for two weeks. Look, I know. One more thing. I'm not even going to the beach. I, 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 Gringo goes. Gringo comes back. Gives you some money. What are you? Yeah, just put it here. Atrás. See? So I'm going to finally see the tip of Baja. Well, I saw it the other day, but this is like kind of a little bit of closure. last beach right here in Baja. This is a uh, lover's beach on this side. 
on the uh, Sea Cortez, and then the other side is the Pacific Ocean, and it's known as Divorce Beach. El Arco. This is Cabo's famous arch called El Arco. This is where many families take their Christmas card pictures and many Instagram models flaunt what they've got at this arch. It's crazy to think I've driven for 29 hours. That's the last rock of Baja right there. So I drove uh, 30 hours to find. Right there. No mas. Now we gotta go to the mainland after this, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Adios, senoritas. Bye. Bye. Adios, chica bonitas. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> So after beach time, um, I'm getting a little bit hungry, so we're gonna head over to a market, and grab some groceries to make for dinner tonight. Oh my god, dude! You know, wake up. One uh, pound of. Cameron? That's good. That's enough. Gracias. Alright, let's go make some food. The sleeping situation for tonight would be nice to be inside of a gated parking lot because that's where I've been like parking around mostly. The only issue is generally for a gated parking lot you're you're paying for the hotel. And I haven't seen any parking lots here that are just like open and gated. So we're gonna try to sleep at a resort. I'm just gonna go to the resort that I've stayed at before and just try to get past the gate. Maybe say my old room number from like last week, but if that doesn't work, we gotta go find a public beach. Oh my god, I need to stop yawning. Alright, here goes nothing. I feel like this is not gonna work. Hold on. 1703? Si. Si. Gracias. It worked? Oh my god, it worked. I can't believe it was that easy. There's like a, like a guard station thing there. I'm pretty sure they just walked up to the front, so I hope they're not talking about my truck. If they are, I hope they just come talk to me and don't call the police. But, we're not gonna worry about that right now. If you guys want a sweatshirt like this one, or the shirt that I was wearing throughout this whole video, check out mavmadeit.com and support your local business. I'm gonna walk away from here for right now because the block is kinda hot. All right, now that the sun's gone down, it looks like there's at least less people over at the, uh, the guard station so i'm gonna try to cook up some food right now uh, i'm gonna make some honey lime garlic shrimp okay. Okay. so the only shrimps that i could find were uh with the cabeza which is the head Clean these 
guys up really quick. Very simple recipe. Oh, some salt. My favorite. Thai chili. Woo. Let's get this party started. Because I don't have that many shrimps, I'm gonna make some risotto to go with it. operate kind of fast right there um so i don't really have to explain but there's like a security guard like coming towards the car and right when he got to the car i like went around to the back side and just hopped in so uh, i don't really want to turn on too many lights right now because they can probably see in here i'm gonna try to be quiet but we're in freaking food's getting cold too dude like honestly if i get kicked out i get kicked out you know Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've tried a recipe like this, and it definitely won't be my last. You guys gotta try this. It's fire. It's like sweet, citrusy, garlicky. This is not a good pear. This is a good pear. It's not so much. If you're gonna pair this with a rice, just do like white rice or something. Don't do risotto. I would like to turn all the lights on in here and show you guys like everything, but I'm just worried that if I do, it's gonna look like a light show to the guards. But I don't, I mean, I don't know if the flash is much better. I'm gonna guess not. You can probably see like my flash dancing in the back of my truck. But if I can help it, I don't wanna put on every light because it just, it, I think it would be a lot, like way too much, it would be a dead giveaway. That was a 10 out of 10 execution, if I do say so myself. All right, well, I'd call that a success. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode. If you guys have any other ideas for me to do here in Mexico, Please leave them in the comments down below. But as always, until next time, my name is Maverick, and you're another drill. Just keep on trucking.